view this tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to install a Microsoft Windows Server 2008 network policy server and the system health validator. So I'll be doing this on a virtual machine using virtual PC. If you're not using virtual PC you may be using VMware or VirtualBox. That's not going to change what we're actually doing in here. So first thing I want to do is actually start my virtual machine. So this will take just a moment. Okay, so my virtual machine is so now uh, that starting I up. have my virtual machine started. I'm using virtual PC for this example. If you're using VMware or VirtualBox, uh, the process that we're going to actually walk through in installing the network policy server and the system health validator will not change. Just the the way that you log in may change slightly. For virtual PC, I'm going to hit the right alt and hit delete. If you're using this on VirtualBox, it'll be the right control and hit delete. Okay, so now um, I need to log in. So I enter my password. Should let me log in. And the first screen you see by default after you've installed Windows Server is the initial configuration Okay, I've task. gone through and set up my initial configuration so I can close this. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to start the first process of installing Server Manager are installing the network policy server. So uh, it brings up server manager for us. If this didn't come up for us automatically we would just go to start and then go to the administrative tools and then find server manager. But we already have it open so we're one step ahead of the game. And then we want to look at roles. So just over in the left hand column here and what we want to do is click action and we want to add a new role. it'll take a moment for server manager to start and it'll come through the list of the different roles that we're able to add alright so this is the first thing that comes up you can read this at your your own pace for this tutorial we'll skip through it and what we're looking for here is the network policy and access services and we can read a short description of what this this uh, role is actually going to do. It's going to provide network policy service, routing, remote access, health registration authority, host credential authorization protocol. Uh, all of this helps safeguard the health and security of our network. So we're just going to select this and hit next. And it's going to give us some information um, to, here to read through. I'll go ahead and hit next for this tutorial. While you're going through this, do go ahead and take a moment to read through these. All right, and then it's going to let us choose some options within the network policy and access services role that we're installing. So let's see, one that we want to install first is we want to do the network policy server. And we also want to do health registration authority. And the reason I'm choosing these are because of the uh, problem that we're working through on your assignment 5.1 in the network security course. Okay, so it's going to tell us that there's some extra roles that are needed. Uh, it's going to tell us that we need IIS installed. IIS is the web server uh, portion of Windows Server. So we'll just go ahead and tell it to add the required role services. Without adding these, then the um, the uh, service would not work how we need it to. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. And this is a part where I think some people are getting hung up on. We can install a local CA or we can uh, select a CA using the, the uh, health registration authority. We'll just do a local one and we'll create our own if we need to. Let's see. So we want to create a self-signed certificate. Okay, and it's giving us some information about what we're doing. And we'll say we're creating our own certificate. 
so go through and hit next and this is just going to be a standalone uh, we will be the root of this certificate because we're creating it ourselves. Uh, we will go ahead and create a new private key. Sounds good. We'll leave the defaults in here. Okay. And it's giving us a name. Let's see. Win test. Okay, how long do we want this certificate to be valid for? Again, just for ease of use, we'll go ahead and uh, accept the default. Uh, where do we want this to be stored? Accept default. Uh, it's telling us some information about IIS, which is the web server component. Uh, it's asking, telling us these roles are also going to be installed along with IIS. So that's fine with us. And that's fine. So we just have the one warning that the domain settings of the computer cannot be changed after the CA has been installed. Uh, and that's not actually entirely true. We can change, but we'll just have to redo this certificate. So we'll go ahead and process this through. It appears that our install is nearly complete. Uh, we we finished the install, but we do have an error. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close out all these roles, and let's just go browse and uh, get to the network policy server. So we hit start, administrative tools, and let's see, did we successfully install the network policy server? We have it here. Oh, here we are. And we want to look at the network access protection. Expand that down. We want to see the system health validators. And we want to see the properties of this okay now we can click configure and in here we can configure all the different options here so we're in the Windows Vista tab we want to go under virus protection and check both an antivirus application is on and antivirus is up to date Okay, so both of these are checked automatically for us already. Now we want to look at the XP client and then repeat the same things and we've got that up to date as well. Okay, we can click OK and OK and that's all that we're looking for for this particular assignment. So that we want to have the network policy server installed you can see that we do it's here uh, again we and can then close the this second out. thing you want to open or expand the network access protection and under there you should have system health validators and we want to select over in the right window and look at the properties and configure and we want to double check to make sure that antivirus application is on and it's up to date for both the Windows Vista clients as well as the Windows XP I take client. the screenshots of those two sections and that's uh, enough to show that you've successfully cl completed Project 5.1. So I hope this was clear. If it wasn't, please feel free to go back and uh, rewind and rewatch the portions that if you have any questions about the topic, Please feel free to contact me if you are a student of mine. Thank you.